What's up, everybody? This is Mothman491, your host of Hard Luck Sports Network, and today I'm going to be bringing you a documentary. Now, this documentary is going to be in several parts, uh, spanning the career of Alex Murphy. Now, today's episode will be about his high school state championship, the IHSA state championship to be exact, and I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, we're going to see him in high school, see him in action. Uh, see what kind of beginnings he came from. So I think you're really going to enjoy this episode. And uh, let's get right to What's it. What's up, everybody? We are here at the coin toss for the Illinois High School State Championship game. We have Pittsfield versus Aurora. And this is the Saki's biggest challenge to date. And looks like Aurora is going to win the coin toss, but they are going to defer to Pittsfield. Murphy coming out in the shotgun formation. He's going to look to get things started early. And he takes off running. And he gets tackled for 10, 11 yards. Coming out of the eye form. They're going to look to hand the ball off to the running back, Hal, who's been decent this year. He rolls out to the right side. He's going to take off. And he gets tackled for another 12-yard rush. He hits Ostrander, and it's good! Touchdown! The Pittsfield Sockies are up 6 to nothing, waiting on the PAT. Murphy's dropping back. He's getting pressure, but he's going to take off. He breaks one tackle, but gets tackled immediately afterwards for a 14-yard rush. Win in motion. He hits Win deep, and it's good! Win with the 25-yard reception. And that's a first down for the Sockies. Win once again in motion here. Murray, Murphy drops back, and it's... Picked off in the end zone! Thomas for Aurora gets the interception, and he's going to take the touchback. Not a good throw by Murphy here, but it doesn't necessarily mean the end, as they're still up 7 to nothing. Pittsfield is back out. Murphy gets a nice block. He takes and he hits Ostrander for a nice gain. That's a 24 yard reception. Murphy not letting the interception get to him. He's in the gun formation. He drops back. He's getting pressure. He hits Ostrander for another big gain. And it's a 34 yard reception and it's first and goal for the Sockies. He's sensing pressure. Oh, and he can't get the ball away, and he's sacked for 16 yards. So they're now on the 18. It's third and goal, and Murphy felt the pressure. His offensive line not doing much against this powerful Aurora defense. He's going to throw it, and it's off Thomas's hands. He almost had a second interception there. Murphy not able to capitalize on the great field position. It's a play action. Murphy sends some pressure. He's gonna get sacked again for seven yards. Aurora's elite pass rush is really coming into play here, putting a lot of pressure on Murphy. They've been doing this all season though, so no surprise here. Murphy gets off the ball and Ostrander. Goes out of bounds after a 22-yard reception. First down, Sockies. He's got four receptions for 92 yards this game. And not doing too bad. Hits Ostrander on a curl route, and it's first down. And Murphy gets sacked again. And the Pittsfield offensive line is not doing their job this game, protecting that quarterback. We go to second and 17, and you got to wonder, is this defensive line going to be the thing that saves the game for Aurora? And Ostrander gets hit on a streak route, and that's a 29-yard reception. And Wynn gets the touchdown reception on the slant route. That's an 11-yard touchdown. And Murphy is 10 for 13 for 192 yards and two touchdowns plus the one interception.
Hassan gets the... Oh, and he only gets a 32-yard reception. He saw pay dirt, but couldn't quite get there. They're going to look to go to their running back, it seems like. And Howell gets the three-yard touchdown run, and the Sockies are up 20-7, to awaiting the PAT. Murphy's looking deep. He gets Ostrander for the reception. Ostrander gets a 65-yard reception on the very deep throw there by Murphy. Murphy calling an audible here. And Weisbecker gets the touchdown. It's 27-7, Sockies. Murphy drops back. He breaks a tackle. Oh, he's going. He's going. And he's gone. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Sockies. And that's a that's an amazing rush by Alexander Murphy there. Calling his own number. Felt the pressure. And just took off. Breaks the tackle. Gets around the defenders. And he was gone when he hit the 50-yard line. After the 80-yard rush... Aurora was not able to score, and Murphy is in complete control of this game. He can do no wrong. He's taken off again. He breaks another tackle, and that's a 14-yard rush. He's feeling pressure. He's going to run to the outside. He gets tackled, but he gets a 23-yard rush. He is just making mincemeat out of this Aurora defense now. After calling an audible, he's going to turn around and hit Saria for a big gain. And that's a 24-yard reception for Gio Saria. Murphy getting pulled at the end of the third quarter. Did not want to injure this future star. And here is our play of the game. He sent some pressure early. Broke the tackle, got around the defenders, and finished around the 50-yard line here and just took off for an 80-yard rush for the score. Alex Murphy showing he can do things on his feet, he can throw it through the air, and can really dominate a defense that isn't paying attention. He finished 19 for 25, 359 yards, he had 13 carries and over 130 rushing yards, and he compiled three touchdowns in the air and one touchdown on the ground as Pittsfield Finishes Aurora 38 to 14, and they are the IHSA High School State Champions. Congratulations to the Pittsfield Sockies, and we'll have more for you later on on the subject. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm here with a special guest today to talk about his future collegiate career. Uh, my special guest today is, I'm sure you've probably guessed it, Alexander Murphy from the Pittsfield Sockies in Illinois. He is going to be making his decision, and he decided that he wanted it to be right here on this show. He loves watching us. Uh, he's been a big fan for years, so... We thought we'd bring him in and let him make his decision to you guys. We've got him on the phone, so let's go ahead and let him tell you what's going on. Hey guys, uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, thank you for following me in this documentary, and also thank you for being here with me as I make my decision on what university I'm going to go to. Uh, I felt long and hard. Um, a lot of good schools wanted to get me. Uh, this one was a personal choice, however. Um, I followed my heart a little bit on this one, and I've decided that I'm going to go.